And there's breaking news from the campaign trail. Vice President Kamala Harris is weighing a trip to the southern border this week as she aims to gain ground against former President Trump on the issue of immigration. Now, this comes as Donald Trump is pitching a new tariff that could cost an iconic American company big money. With 43 days until Election Day, CBS's Caitlin Huey Burns reports tonight from Battleground, Pennsylvania. With just six weeks to go until Election Day, new CBS News polling shows Vice President Kamala Harris holds a slight edge over former President Donald Trump across the battleground states, helped in part by a slight improvement in voters' views on the economy. Speaking to farmers in Pennsylvania today, Trump laid out another part of his economic agenda, saying he would put a 200 percent tariff on John Deere imports if the company moves production to Mexico as planned. It's hurting our farmers, it's hurting our manufacturing. This week, Trump is on a battleground state blitz, which includes stops in North Carolina, Georgia and Michigan. Harris is also ramping up her campaign schedule with stops planned in Pennsylvania, Arizona and Nevada. While campaigning in North Carolina over the weekend, Trump made no mention of embattled Republican candidate for governor Mark Robinson, who allegedly made racist remarks years ago on a porn site and who Trump once called MLK on steroids. Top members of Robinson's campaign resigned over the weekend, and the Republican Governors Association announced it will no longer fund advertising in the state. Robinson has denied the reports. We have full confidence that we can go on. What won't go on? Another debate among the candidates for president. Let's have another debate. There's more to talk about. But this weekend, Trump said no. She's done one debate. I've done two. It's too late to do another. I'd love to in many ways, but it's too late. And after nearly a decade at the helm of the GOP, Trump was asked if he saw himself running again in four years if he lost this time around. No, I don't. And tonight, the Trump campaign announced that the former president will return to Butler, Pennsylvania, the site of that first assassination attempt for a rally there next weekend. Nora? Caitlin Huey Burns at the rally tonight. Thank you.